On January 10, 1932, Peter Karpowitz Gott was born in Flensburg, Germany. His father had friends in the United States, and once World War II ended, they offered an opportunity young Peter just couldn't pass up. They asked if one of the sons wouldn't like to go to America because they would like to sponsor one of us. So my brother said, no, that's too far away. <laughs> but I said, I was kind of adventurous, and I said, I go. <laughs> that's how I uh, came to the States, and it was in 1955. However, the draft authority had been renewed by Congress in 1955, so when Peter arrived, he had a bit of a surprise waiting for him, as he had just served three years in the German Special Police. I had to register for the draft at that time. Mm -hmm. I was a German citizen, but when I registered for the draft, I said, you could, we could still draft you. And one day I got a card, greetings from the army. And I told the guy, I don't know anybody in the army. Sure enough, his draft number had been called. Luckily for the Air Force, Peter received some advice from a friend. He said, you have a choice. I take you to Cleveland, Air Force recruiting office. They took me there, I signed up. That's how I ended up in the Air Force. They said, what I'm doing with this greeting card, all the way. <laughs> Within days, he boarded a troop train to Lackland Air Force Base. After completing tech school for supply at F.E. Warren Air Force Base, he was off to Chaumont Air Base, France. As the years went by, another war began. In 1971, Peter was sent to Vietnam. And they asked me, he said, you want to go to Clark? You can go to Clark now. I said, no, I want to serve my time in Vietnam. Then they stated, okay, Pete, since you know French, we need French people over here, we assign you to MACV. It was a military advisory group of the Saigon. So I went to the military advisory group the Air Force advisory team to the Vietnamese Air Force. What kind of things did you teach them? Teach them logistics, and they trained us in the self-defense. Years later, Peter and his family found themselves stationed at Ramstein Air Base. When he retired after 28 years of service, Peter started a new chapter of his career. Immediately after I retired, the next day I started working for NAV. Reporting from Ramstein Air Base, I'm Airman Erica Moore. What emotions were you feeling when you became a U.S. citizen? Uplifting. I'm not part of a big free country in the U.S.